guys, it's John, and welcome to another edition of Three Random Horror Games. Today we're going to be playing Three Random Horror Games, starting with 0304. This is a demo that popped up on Steam. The full game is $3, but since this is a multi-game video, I'm just going to be playing the demo. Let's go ahead and check it out. I don't know what I'm walking into, but... Unknown Caller. April 3rd, 2017, date of your death, and then the text disappears. You were exactly on the train that arrived on Metro Station with the bodies of innocent, already dead people. You are a sinner. Man, talk about a guilt trip. Blocked. Only by redeeming your most terrible sins committed in life. Can you get from purgatory in the best place? Get out of your dirty soul. Thanks for the enlightening text. Well, we woke up in a field somewhere. Must have had a crazy weekend. Welcome. Thanks. <laughs> I feel so welcome here. Okay, so we can press tab to show hints, and L is for the flashlight for some godforsaken reason. There we go. It's the flashlight on our phone. I am glad that someone special like you will keep me company. Now you are in the midst of the world of the living and the world of the dead. In this place, everyone pays their bills. <laughs> They're fiscally responsible citizens here in the world of limbo. Yet as a result, they acquire eternal peace. That all sounds good. In these places, their rules, their ways. Better pay your bills. During your worthless life. Wow, who's shitting this guy's Cheerios? You managed to do a lot of bad things. This beautiful meadow is the starting point. Only from here, there is the entrance to the Soul Bunker. That's the name of a 60s rock band, if I've ever heard one. And there is no way back. I give you this wonderful opportunity to visit my soul. You have an unforgettable journey. Someone's a little full of themselves. Oh, you are one of the few who has been graced with the permission. To enter my soul. My soul is full of staticky radios. My soul is full of cobwebs and wooden boxes. And narrow hallways. And speedy cleansing. Dude, your soul sucks. Okay, so you can't see it, but it's... I, I press F to pick up the syringe. See? There you go. My health has been restored. I don't know why you guys need to see the text prompt. I just felt like it was important. Oh. From the hopper down, you'll go to bathe your sins. What does that mean? This place is unusual, and with every your return to it here, something's changing. To free navigate through it, it is necessary to light the light. <laughs> okay, I'll light the light. Wow, okay. Another pop-up. Okay, so we press F to interact. Got it. I've already, I've had to do that in order to get to this point. I think having a tutorial telling me what I already know to do, a little unnecessary. That door is locked. What is going on in there? See if I can't get in there. Sounds fun. Dude, your soul is depressing. <laughs> I thought you, you were acting like it was going to be really good. Picked up uh, macro of PM ammo, I think. I don't know, because it showed up for like a second. That's health. We don't need it right now. So, do I get a gun at any point? All right, that's enough. That's enough. I, I yield. I give up. You always have a knife. He has a little damage, <laughs> but he is effective in closed and dark places. Why are you personifying the knife? Trying to get me attached to it for when it inevitably dies, huh? You can use it only if you have a phone in your hand. My God, that's awful. I hope that never happens again. Shooting causes a lot of noise. Think twice before pulling the trigger because you can attract too much attention to yourself. Okay, now I, I, I understand. So like, what's that though? There's health. Can I like pick it up? 
Health fully restored. Well, that was a waste. <laughs> so there's no inventory, really. What was that? Alright. What's this? Oh. My god. There are sounds happening everywhere. Well, it looks like the power's on now. Now what? Uh-oh. Somebody's not happy about that. <laughs> we'll just leave him to it. We'll go the other direction. <laughs> um... Wait, why did we close that? We can't go anywhere else. Okay, we have to go in there. Hello. Tormented one. Don't text me right now. Fight what? So, you like it, huh? No, it's terrible. Ah. Okay. That thing was uh pretty underwhelming. I'll just go ahead and reload now. Okay, let's bring out the uh phone. Wait, turn on turn on electricity and escape from the bunker. That's another one. Okay, let's just leave him to it. Leave him to his misery. Is that a waypoint? Remember? Yes? Remember what? <laughs> Don't leave me in suspense, dude. By the way, you have to hold down tab while you're moving to keep the light out. Which I think is a bit of an oversight. It's very awkward to do this. Okay, I think we go this way. Since apparently there's a waypoint. Mm -hmm. Familiar shapes? Do I remember familiar shapes? What shapes? Mm -hmm. Like, the building? Find a way to get into the archive. This is strange. Ah! I got him. No worries, guys. Destroyed him. This little bobblehead thing. Get out of here. That's a computer. Is this the archive? This feels very Cry of Fear inspired. Everything down to the syringes giving health and like the soundtrack and the sound effects that the monsters make. I think this person really wanted to make Cry of Fear 2.0. Which, I'm gonna have to revisit Cry of Fear at some point. I really enjoyed that game. Alright, we're going upstairs. Here, everything is inundated, as in your head. Through the archive, you can easily get into the school, as far as I remember. And you should know, the way to the archive lies through the Office of Physics. Only now, you can go there through violence, as you like to do when being a schoolboy with complexes. <laughs> Man, this guy's just throwing down the burns. Slamming me over and over. We gotta get... Oh, we gotta get a crowbar for this. Where would that be, exactly? Oh, no. Dead. Hey! Why so blue? Huh? <laughs> All right. No, but seriously, we need to- well, what's with the curtains? We need to find the uh, crowbar, which is right here. Found it. So we found a way to get into the archive. We did it. Let's get inside. Um... Open? Oh, okay. <gasps> this hole, and indeed the whole building, represents the rot inside you. I get it, man. Wow. You're really driving the point home. Understood. Through this hole, almost all good came out. So, that's when it was in you. But, let's not talk about sad things. You are very confusing. And these, these sick burns are getting less and less interesting. Yeah, see that hole? That's you. Huh. Nothing but a little... Dank ass hole. Demo, you've tried the free demo version. To continue the passage of history, you need to purchase the full version of the Steam store. Well, that was 0304, the demo. Uh, it was kind of like Diet Cry of Fear 
And Cry of Fear is free. I think if you want something like this, if this is something that interests you, you should just play Cry of Fear. That's my take on 0304. Let's move on to game number two. Game number two. The Crawford Family. This was developed by the same guy who made The Silent House, which you may remember that I played a few months ago. This was a Game Jam game that was made for the Haunted PS1 Halloween Horror Jam. I think that was the name of it. It basically gave developers less than one month to create a PS1-styled horror game, with the keywords being body horror and hometown. And that's not interesting to me, so let's go ahead and check this one out. New game. There were rumors of the Crawford family snatching up drivers who passed by their home at night. And it would appear that you're their latest catch. You awaken in a dingy bedroom, unaware of your surroundings, but you can sense that you're in Crawford territory. With your spirit somehow undeterred, you get up and advance into the Crawford's Fortress of Solitude. Wow, there's an X there. Can you play this with a PlayStation controller? That's kind of cool. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I am the faceless one. Slenderman. Slenderman Sunderland from the looks of it with this pocket flashlight. All right. So here we are in the Crawford family. <laughs> this is a dingy bedroom, all right. Look at how yellow the mattress is. No thanks. Oh, it's locked. Nothing in the drawers. And this is open. What is this? So it appears that there's three different locks with three different faceless things on them. That's interesting. I wonder if that's the Crawford family? I'm not sure. That's a big ass note. That's like the size of his entire torso. It's not an eight and a half by 11. That's like a 36 by 42 or something. I don't know the dimensions. Dear Mr. Crawford, you're safe now. Our on-site employee has returned from installing your brand new h &S security lock this morning. Is that what that thing was? Wow. In case your lock malfunctions or you'd like to request our services again, please give us a call right away. We hope you enjoy this new sense of security for you and your family. Sincerely, Parker Hearth. Okay, wow. What do they got locked up in that safe? This is some hell of neighbor shit right here. I want to know what they got in there. All right, that door's locked. So yeah, we got to get in there somehow. I don't know how, but I did find that there was a door to the outside over here, so we'll go that way now. Hello. Uh, what is all this? Is this thing breathing? It must just be like plants or something, right? Uh. Is that water? Oh! What the? It's electrified! It's an electrified gate. I just didn't gather that from <laughs> interacting with it. Wow, okay. All right. No, I, I got this. Okay, that is some sort of like amnesia shadow growth or something. I don't know what it is. Let's press this. Yeah! It didn't do anything. Oh, I turned off the electrified fence. Let's go. What? What is that? That's the biggest chainsaw I've ever seen. Close it. Close it. Ah. All right. Press this. Ah. Okay. Dude. I'm sorry for existing. Oh, get that. Get that. It is broken. What? Uh, uh, you can't drive this. Oh, no. Dude, why does the Crawford family hate me? Oh, wait. Ah, I thought we got away with it. Close it, close it. No, don't do that. Don't just jiggle the handle, you idiot. Okay, what would that do? Where does that go? Where does that go? Where's the, where the power lines go? No. Okay, never mind. 
Do we go into the warehouse where he was? Oh! How'd you catch up to me? That dude's fast, and he has the longest chainsaw of all time! So I think that this chainsaw and the uh, telephone pole is a hint. I think we gotta get him to snag it on this power line. And then we turn on the power. Or not, you know. Maybe we gotta get both of them down. Here we go. Got him! Wait. <laughs> How did that unlock the door? Really? So when he dies, it unlocks. I guess you won't need your stuff if you're dead. <laughs> I'll tell you what makes me mad though. You go up to this tractor thing and it says, you cannot drive this. How do you know that? Maybe I can't. Oh wow, this would have been useful. Look at the saw blades. I would have chopped them up. All right, what's in here? Okay, I guess we go down here now. So we defeated one of the family members, I suppose. Then we got two left. Two more people in the Crawford family. Oh my... That's a dark pit of doom. Oh no, there's water in there. Oh, it's probably like tar or something. What's this? What was that? <laughs> what the hell was that? Okay. Note to self, don't step in those. There's a bunch of them. You can push this. Oh, cool. You can kind of bully it a little bit. Move it to where you want to move it. So are we going to have another family member here that we got to lure them into the traps, I guess? Um, or not. I guess we can just, oh, oh, they must be beyond the iron gate. Where are they? Electrified fence, again? Here we go. Okay. Thanks, grain silo. How you turn this thing off? Here we go. Excuse me? Ah! The ruthless! How'd that old woman outrun me? Oh, it's locked, huh? So I have to turn this on. And then I run. Can this this open? No. This opens. Okay, this is where we go. There are traps everywhere. There's a grain silo. No, I get it, I get it. Step in it, step in it. No, she just pushes it. Get her, yeah! Oh, I ran into one. <laughs> I didn't even see it. Okay, I think I know what you do here, though. I think I got you. I think you gotta trap her underneath the grain silo and then turn it on. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Come on! There she goes. Get under there. Press it! Got her! She's dead now! Well, I mean, I guess buried under grain, whatever. <laughs> How do we know that she's dead? How does the door know that she's dead? Even more importantly, that's very high-tech security. I can understand why they bought it now. Let's go where she was. 
Okay, here's another one. So we got one more member of the family left to defeat. I can't believe this was a Game Jam game. I mean, less than a month? That is not bad. I'm having fun. Uh, let's go this way? Where are we supposed to- okay, here we go. Alright, there's explosives, so we gotta get them to run to the- EXPLOSIVES! Probably. Environmental hazards. Come on. You missed! What? Come on. Run into it. What? You didn't run into the exploding barrels? Eh! Oh no. We need to do more than one. Wow. Get him. Is he honking at me? Come on, dude. He's gotta be like tricked into doing it. There we go. Yeah! All three. Oh, you were the easiest one, dude. Easiest. This is the thing that I couldn't drive. Oh, I can't drive it, but this idiot can? If he can do it, I can do it. Sorry. I feel... Oh, we're back here. <gasps> he literally drove it, the same one, just through the wall right there. How do you know that I was on the other side? All right, let's go back. Where is it? In here? Or, yeah, it was this way. We're gonna open up that door, guys. The Crawford family is dead now. And we can escape, I guess. <gasps> we escape! You managed to eliminate the Crawford family and leave their property. You return to your company truck with a sigh of relief, knowing you've lived to see another day. While their spirits were broken, yours remained resilient. Driving off, you look back at the property and smirk. <laughs> Knowing a promotion is soon to come. Why would you get a promotion? <laughs> what, were you like tasked with taking them out? Anyway, that was the Crawford family. Cool little game. Cool little game jam game. Very silent house. If you enjoyed that, you'll definitely like the silent house, uh, the full game. It's in first person instead of uh, third person like that. But uh, same kind of feel running from things with chainsaws and sides and weapons and things. Really cool little slasher game. All right, with that said, let's move on to game number three. Game number three. This is one called Caliban. It's actually $4 on Itch.io. It's a top-down indie horror game, and I don't really know much about it other than that, but I went ahead and bought it because I wanted to check it out. Some of the screenshots looked interesting. Let's go ahead and start a new game. Caliban is a story-oriented game, so your choices matter and that's it. The game uses the food meter as a regeneration mechanic. Uh-oh, the higher your food value, the... I think they need to stay on screen a little longer. On normal and hard difficulties, your vitality will not drop if your food has gone to zero. <sighs> Finland, 1995. Okay, let's do this. There's survival elements though, I don't like that. Is the time after the depression and people are fighting to stay alive from one day to another. Bob, a lone hermit and American, has moved to this land in the far north to start a new life. His life is about to change forever. Great. Let's be a part of Bob's changed life. Bob has had a night of drinking. He had stumbled through the forest and into his cabin in the dark. During the night, however, he wakes up to a strange noise. Let's find out what the strange noise is. What was that? Shit! What was that? What the? What the hell? What the hell is that thing? Axe. Axe quickly. <laughs> Suddenly, the wounded monster leaps at you. No! Kill the monster. Oh, I got him. One swing. It looks like a human, but twisted and wrong. I don't recognize who he was. Is this the werewolf game I've been longing for? Okay. Now, you don't need to swing at him again. Every swing takes away one food. Wow. Fridge. Open the fridge. 
Fridge, basically empty. Need to buy more beer. Hmm, out of power. This guy starves to death incredibly fast. Press O. Monsters, you've killed a canine monster. I guess that's one way to talk about it. Let's see. There's map locations. Okay, so there's a well. There's the crapper. One name for it, I suppose. The garage. Okay. So, great. All we've got is an axe. Nothing else. I'm sorry, what was that? TV and chair. I don't have time to watch that thing. Besides, there's no electricity. Let's check the closet. Old clothes. My heavy-duty gloves and jacket might come in handy. These are somewhat protected against accidents with the chainsaw. Might help against other damage, too. Do I have to, like, equip it, or...? So, use? Oh! We've equipped the working clothes. Nice. I picked up a log. 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 Okay. Stop picking up logs now. Eerily quiet. Are you serious? Well, well. No electricity on the water pump either. I see what you did there. You said, well, well. <gasps> Apples. I better gather all the food I can carry. It's going to be a long night, and I need to keep my strength up. It's not like I'm going to die of starvation during one night. Just that it's easier to stay alive when you have something in your stomach. Um, dude, don't say that you're not- Ah! Okay, we killed another canine monster. Dude, let's eat some of these. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, they give quite a lot of food back. Dude, let's get in the car. Oh wait, flashlight! Old nuts, bolts, tools? Oh hey, my old flashlight and a lighter. Do we have the lighter? I assume that we do. The main quest is find out what is going on. <laughs> my old car, engine's still broken. Damn, could have used that now. Really? Okay, well, should we just leave? What has happened? I need to get to the town. Maybe there's someone there. Someone who can tell me why there are weird nightmare creatures here roaming in my yard. Or at least a car I can use to get the fuck out of here. I need a drink. Alright. Going down the road? Oh, these are the credits. Your hunger goes down during the credits. What's this? Log. Picked up a log. Are we gonna pick up more logs? All right. This is very interesting so far. I'm liking it. What is this? My neighbor. <gasps> he is long dead. Besides, he was an asshole. Oh, okay. All assholes deserve to die, I guess. Outskirts of the town. I can smell burning. Seems like the old bicycle store is in flames. Other buildings look okay from here, though. Wow, starting a new life for sure, man. So... I probably gotta get out of this town, but I need a working car. I gotta look around. Maybe there's some survivors still left in here. Okay. I got my axe out, because I see some, uh... Some monsters. Shit, bridge is out. The current is too strong to cross by swimming. Hi! Ow! He's still- he's still going! He didn't go down in one swing like the rest of them! Oh, I unlocked the door. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a note on the fridge door. Does it say, take all our food? It says, I lost the keys to the closet at the plant. Boss is gonna kill me if I don't find them. Yesterday I went to the grill and to the beach. Those are good places to start looking, I guess. That's interesting. I should look for those keys. Who knows if the owner is still around or they could be otherwise handy. Uh, what's in the fridge? You picked up some canned soup, thank God. Is that it? That's all he had was some canned soup? Take that bread. What they got in here? Nightstand. Hmm. Are you gonna search it or what? What's in the wardrobe? Picked up leather jacket. All right, here we go. A sturdy looking leather jacket. We're wearing that, man. Gasoline. A gas canister. Wait, is my, my food is going down, but it's not showing me. Lighter fuel, roll of duct tape. We're just, Pillaging this house Wow, should we go to the gas station? We do have a gas canister Let's check it out. Oh my god mm. 
I need to get something better than an axe, I think. A flippo. The pump won't work without power. I got power on the pumps? Oh. Hang on. I have to eat a lot of food. Oh boy, ate an apple. Um, and we also got canned soup. Restores a hundred food points. Wow. Um, is that a pistol? I picked up the pistol. Gas station worker. Stay back, I swear to God, I'll shoot. Relax, I'm still me, okay? Wounded man's eyes dart from side for a while. Oh, he clutches the pistol, still aiming at you. Just put the gun down, okay? I'm talking to you, that's proof enough, all right? Some of them speak, they do. I'm, I'm sorry, I believe you. You don't look like them. Yeah, I look a bit worse than them, if anything. I wouldn't say that, that's an exaggeration. Penna coughs up blood and lowers the gun. Look, I'm done for. Is there anything I can help you? Is there, is there any way I can help you? I don't have much, I'm not gonna need whatever I do. I need gasoline for my car, but the pumps are out. Um, let's just say any gasoline. There's a <coughs> generator downstairs. You use that to <coughs> get right. Generator makes pumps go. I get gasoline. Yes, but it's loud. It'll draw them here. You'll need to be ready. The pained man tries to move and groans audibly, having another coughing fit. Look, I don't want to die like that. Please, the key. It's on the table. Take it. Then put me out of my misery. Okay. No, I got it. I'll take the key. Here we go. Got the key to the generator. Got him. He's dead. Okay, so here's the generator. Now, before I get started here, uh, I have to make sure I'm ready. Here we go. This might generate some noise. Start the generator. Starts to rumble. Okay, let's go. Hey, I think the TV turned on too. Might be worth checking out. Oh. Oh, okay. I think they're blocking themselves here. Yeah, they're blocking themselves in. Hang on. As you walk outside, you're greeted by a horde of monsters, confused, searching for the source of the noise. Hi, there's quite a bunch of you guys. Unfortunately, my weapon only serves leaded. Oh, nice. The horde spots you. Right, that pun was not worth getting noticed. Uh-oh. What? Okay. Okay. Got quite a few. This isn't quite a horde, I would say. All right, let's get some gas. Alrighty, now we're in business. I got the canister and the power on. So we're filling up the canister. That does it. Now I got fuel for my ride. Okay, so I got... I got all sorts of stuff. I need to get better at the combat. Ooh, an apple. Okay, we're at the beach now. Die. Interesting. More mutilated corpses. Someone was not so lucky. That That is one way to say it. They must have arrived in a hurry. Still had the time to take the keys with them, though. Damn! You got your own car, dude. Oh my god. Okay, switch into the... What the hell is that? What? Canned food? Creatures get more grotesque by the second. Oh! They're called spitters, huh? Stomps the creature's face in. Die already! Dude, it's dead. You already picked up the canned food off of its corpse. You looted it. Creature lies still now. <laughs> Where do these things come from? I hope these aren't the locals. Nah, I've just been watching way too many zombie movies. Sure, they all escaped and I didn't just kill the kid from across the road, right? What? Hey, no, stop, stop! How dare you? You killed a snake-like monster. These are harder to destroy and spit acid. Well, great. I'm glad we have that. Eat an apple. Dude, and actually, let's, uh, should we drink a beer? Restores five vitality points, but also gets you intoxicated. 
I think I'm good. Hi. Uh, sorry, madam. I know the thing with them saunas and lakes, but this is probably not the best time. What does that mean, Bob? Shh. I'm waiting for him. Her name's Naked Lady. <laughs> I'm sure he's waiting for you somewhere safe inland. You should go there. Yeah, naked lady. Why don't you go unarmed into town? What great advice from Bob. Not him. I mean, him. Her eyes scan the putrid lake for ripples. What is this shape of water bullshit going on here? He must be there somewhere. Look, it's not safe for you. Whoever this guy is, who is supposed to be there, he is long gone. Please come with me. Bob, you're thirsty, all right? There's a lake right there. Just take a sip. Keep it in your pants. No, he is there. I, I saw this Japanese movie once with... Never mind, I know he'll come. Oh, she's a weep. Everything makes sense now. You're insane, aren't you? You're actually waiting for a monstrosity that destroys every boat that tries to leave just because of a weird porn flick. I'm sorry, what is happening in this game right now? So, Gojira's in the lake? Fine. Okay, I'm just gonna go back away very slowly and agree that you're beyond help, okay? What a crazy lady. Mostly to himself. Okay, bye-bye. I guess I'll leave now. Oh, I see. So the plant... What the hell are these things? Ah. They explode! No thanks. Also, I'm out of food. Well, you know what? Maybe you can go two seconds without eating. There's a thought. Okay. Let's go back to town. Maybe I want to actually get in my car. Man, it is getting overrun in here. Oh boy, we gotta we gotta fix this up. Got an apple? No? Then what good are you to me? Lumber mill. Is there any way inside this? Hi. Oh, we can talk to this guy. Son of a bitch. How's a lazy asshole like you still alive? Uh, you doing okay, dude? Take a look at yourself. <laughs> What's going on with that face? You sigh. <sighs> yeah, and I see you too. Strange. I saw your car at the river and ha thought you were dead. Close one, dude. Me? Nah, it takes more than that. Some asshole stood on the road and I tried to avoid hitting him. It, whatever. He frowns. That's when it jumped on my hood and I swerved off the road into the river. Guess the current took the thing away. It must have been one of the monsters then. The man suddenly sways a bit, coughing and almost falling against the chain leak fence. You alright? Not that I care too much, but you just look a little bit. I'm fine, damn it. Sure, could use a beer though. Water's, water, water's starting to taste like shit from my own well. Like it tasted in the river, so something's in the water. The water, huh. So what the hell do you want from me? I figure you got some kind of a exit plan. I think mine's already fucked. Look, still got that tire pressure pump? I could use one right now. I need it for something. Yeah, yeah, you got a plan you're not sharing, right. You can have it if you bring me that beer I talked about. Okay, I guess I can do that. And cigarettes. I've got both of those. Man, what? And what else? Groceries? How about some makeup for that face of yours? Want the pump? Beer and cigarettes. Now get going. I don't need to get going, man. I got them right now. Look. Look, I got them. I got uh, cigarettes right here, and then I got uh, beer. It's a pale lager by the Lynx Brewery. So, why can't I just give it to him? Hang on. Maybe if we just, maybe if we exit and we come back with it. We can give it to him. Come here, dude. I got your stuff. How come I can't give it to him? I have the stuff, don't I? I have cigarettes and beer. Do I need to get more beer? Well, thank God a pub's right here, am I right? Ha! You missed, idiot! There's a wall there, stupid. Yeah, keep firing. Oh, uh, you know what? Oh, oh, excuse me. Freaking out of my way, you. Come here. Guess what, you're dead. You're freaking dead, dude. I don't give a shit. 
I'll kill all of you. Oh my god. Did you see that guy just die? What? Oh no! I thought I could cheese him. I'm dead though. All right, well, uh, you know what? That was interesting. That was Caliban, everybody. So that's gonna wrap up this edition of three random horror games. First, we played 0304, which was, like I said, Diet Cry of Fear. Nothing noteworthy. Wasn't awful, but I don't think I'd pay money for the full version, personally, just from playing the demo. And then we played The Crawford Family, which was a game jam game from the developer of The Silent House, and that was probably my favorite of the bunch. I really enjoyed that one. It was simple, it was short, but uh, it had some good thrills within it. And then last we played Caliban, which is, of course, um, $3 or $4 top-down survival game that you can only get on Itch.io, to my knowledge. I was... it was okay. I'm not really much for these top-down survival games, like... I think there, there was a game called Too Dark, number two, Dark, that I tried to make a video on, not once, but twice. I played through like the first two hours of it twice trying to make a video and I just, I couldn't get into it. So I just, these aren't really my thing, but if it's yours, you should check it out. There's links to all these games in the description. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Think critically.